Today we're going to show you how to sling some rope like a hero. Okay, so span rigging, let's dive right into this. You may have heard of it, you may have not, but we're here to walk you through an easy how to span rig. Why would you span rig, first of all? Okay, so in my experience, when I use a span rig is when I don't want the load or the limb I'm gonna remove to land directly underneath the anchor point, and I don't wanna have it swinging out and, plus, and possibly taking out a gutter, whatever is over there. So the span rig is what it's basically gonna do is gonna make a system Make the log fall right dead center between two points. Simplest way to put it. So here what we got is our anchor point running off of a pulley here, the ISC 200 series. And we've got our gin line, rig line, tag line, whatever you want to call it, right? Everybody has different names for it. And we're gonna start and we're gonna find and look for a suitable anchor parallel to this. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our secondary anchor point, which is parallel to our primary and is suitable to handle the load that we are going to be applying. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna lock this section off with a running bowline or whatever knot that you choose to anchor. But right now, it's locked off, anchored. All right, our next step in this span rig scenario is we're gonna capture this belly of rope between the two anchor points. We're gonna capture this, either put it on our harness or just carry it with our arm down and, complete, and begin to descend into position. Now this is where you do actually need extra hardware. So if you're using blocks, you will need at least two blocks. Most of the times what I do when I do span rigs, it's off the tip ties. If you tie it on the butt check, you could shock load the system. And if you are gonna take something super heavy, beware the shock. So what we're gonna do here is we've added our Omni block. I've chosen to use something like this because it's midline attachable, opens up very easily without having to take the whole block off of the sling. So we're gonna secure it by completely locking off. With your Omni block, you wanna make sure that, that you hear that two clicks, distinct two clicks, one, two, locks it completely. So now at this point, we can cut and the system will actually equalize itself and go right down the center. It'll travel and it can float here. Now, there are some important things to know with this system. If you have too much tension and if you've got cutting position over here and your ground handler adds way too much, what it could potentially do is just go like this. Swing back and forth, back and forth, viciously until it slows down. A way to alleviate that is to add a second rope into the system and tie it at the butt where close to where it's gonna get cut. Reason for that is if you do have to add tension to it, you could, with a tag line, your rope handler will slowly ease it and she'll travel into position right there. Second thing, in my experience, I've cut limbs that were pulled away from um, between the two anchors. So what I've done is I actually added a tag line to it to control the swing. So this way it doesn't just launch. If I cut and I have a tag line on it, I can have a second rope handler just gently release, avoiding that vicious swing back and forth. So that way it doesn't catch you. But the whole system, whether you cut over here or if you cut this way, the intention of the system is to auto equalize back into the center, avoiding causing harm to object A or object B. So now the system will travel and she'll equalize back into the center. All right, so that's span rigging. Just another great technique you really should know. So from your friendly neighborhood tree climber, climb safe.